Santa Cruz County's Lodging Association lists 155 different places to stay. Add some 300 plus registered vacation rentals and you have nearly 500 tax collecting, visitor serving addresses at work in the local tourism industry. Suni Patel and her husband have owned and operated the Super 8 on Riverside for more than 20 years, benefiting from proximity to the boardwalk and to downtown Santa Cruz. Tourism is very important in Santa Cruz. It's, it is num almost like number one, uh, you know, uh, creating jobs in the area. We have a lot of repeat clientele and a lot of families visit here every year. Uh, they bring their uh, children and their grandchildren and it's like historically they've come here over the years because the famous beach boardwalk, it's, uh, uh, you know, they love visiting that. The Transient Occupancy Tax, or TOT, collects more than $8 million annually from room rates, but far more money bounces through our economy from those who work and build hotels, motels, and vacation rentals. A portion of the TOT income actually comes back to the city, and we use that as part of our general fund to actually go out and fix the streets and fill those potholes and you know, put in street trees and new sidewalks. And so all those things are things that are sort of behind the scenes, but that's part of how a city actually runs. So tourism is a really important part of that for us at the city. It takes hundreds of housekeepers to keep Santa Cruz County Lodging going. 20 jobs here at the Days in Santa Cruz. One of them, the past 23 years, has belonged to Lucia. I think it's better more tourists come, but yeah, I don't feel worried because the people know the place and they like to come over here with us because already they know. Usually people frequently, they come to. You recognize people coming yeah. back. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Do they say, hi, hi Lucia. How are you? <laughs> yeah, many people say that. Sometimes they like to say, hey, can you clean my rooms? Uh, because they know the people working here. They do a good job. Yeah. Several new lodging projects are approved and in the pipeline to be added in the next year or two, including a new Marriott and Hyatt properties in the city of Santa Cruz. Projects providing a need for construction workers, permanent hotel staffing, and an addition to that occupancy tax base. We've been working, we actually have a few active programs at the cities to incentivize new hotel development in town, and um, one is actually a rebate of TOT that we're working on that's hopefully going to help uh, fill some funding gaps on some major hotels. But we have some that are already approved that are in the works. Um, we have the Courtyard Marriott that's fully entitled um, near the boardwalk. We have the Fairfield Inn out, out on Mission Street Extension that's also fully entitled. Um, La Bahia is coming up again, which we're all really excited about. And um, we also have uh, the Hyatt Place project um, on Lower Broadway, which is um, hopefully moving forward and will break ground um, you know, this year. Filling the rooms already available and adding more will grow the local economy, but so will extending visits by better informing visitors about what's available a short distance from their room. It's very important to be in touch, you know, with uh, especially nowadays when people are using social media and, uh, you know, they want to know what's going on, why they are visiting Santa Cruz, whether there's a wedding or there's an event that's held, there's a triathlon, there's whale watching, there's uh, all sorts of things going on and yes uh, the CVC does the great job uh, uh, you know advertising that and you know uh, they give us a lot of information they send visitor guides uh, books mm -hmm. all over and yeah you have to keep up you you know you have to tell your staff and everybody it's a teamwork yes it's not just the hotels that we focus on from a tourism standpoint it's what are the other amenities that we have in Santa Cruz so for example projects recently that we've really focused on to really help people say, hey, we, we're not just coming for, to, for you know, one afternoon and go to the boardwalk and the beach, we do want them to stay multiple days. So um, working on the National Marine Sanctuary Exploration Center is another amenity. The Warrior Stadium is another amenity. So providing a variety of activities for people to do in Santa Cruz is a really compelling and important part of what we do in economic development.